It's been from three different plans here. Today I've got another Autodesk Inventor tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to use the loft command. So first of all we're going to go ahead and create a new sketch. We're going to make a simple circle and dimension it say 100 millimeters. So we've got a nice circle there. Finish the 2D sketch and then we're going to turn on the YZ plane under origin. So right click on YZ plane and then turn on the visibility. And then we're going to create a new work plane under work features and 3D model. You'll notice you can drag out the work plane and drag it either forward or back. So we're going to just drag it forward and make that 100 mil again. As you can see, we've now got two work planes, one with a circle on it and a new one. What we're going to do is make a new sketch on that second work plane. So you can right click or you can use the 2D sketch up the top there. New sketch and we're going to make a circle that is 10 or so. Finish that and you'll notice we'll have two circles and then all what we've got to do is go up to the loft command under create in 3D model select the first circle and the second circle and you can see a preview of the thing of the 3D model come up here just hit enter or OK and it will create the loft we're then going to turn off the two planes that we turned on so turn off YZ and turn off the work plane and there's your lofted cylinder. So that's how you use the lo loft command. Thanks again. Head over to 3D printer plans for more 3D printing tutorials.